We've got to get the ball rolling on digitization. This according to former president of the Telecommunications Authority of Trinidad and Tobago, Salby Wilson. Meanwhile, Public Utilities Minister Robert Lahan says government has already begun laying the groundwork for the vision. Janine Brown attended day two of the Caribbean Telecommunications Union Futurescape event. With CARICOM member states attempting to pull in the reins to see the implementation of the decades-old Caribbean single market and economy plan, it's becoming more glaring that there's a need to have a digital structure to facilitate the anticipated increase in movement between countries. It's the view of telecommunications strategist Selby Wilson. According to the former TAT president, government needs to be more vigorous in rolling out the relevant policies. So we think the governments have to move more quickly in transforming some of their processes, putting it online and bringing more convenience to the citizens in the Caribbean. It, it will be a paradigm shift from building box trains and roads and all that to build a digital highway instead. He adds increased dependency on technology can dismantle the monster that is corruption. And corruption can try to what people believe is only at the political level, not only at the political level. If you have to go through a process and you can bribe a clerk, that's corruption too. Meanwhile, TNT Public Utilities Minister Robert Lahant says this country remains committed to its digitalization efforts, but he is conscious that such an advancement will take time. I think we have seen some improvement in birth certificates. We have gone to the licensing office. All right? I think you have seen a lot of work that is going to be done in the land registry with the Minister of Legal, the Attorney General. He's doing a lot of work to make sure that all that process happens a lot smoother. So I think it's a lot of incremental steps all in keeping with an ICT plan for the country. The three-day CTU Futurescape event takes place in honor of the Union's 30th anniversary and it demonstrates the efficiency, transparency and resilience of life in a fully integrated digital Caribbean. Among the displays was a digital courthouse in session. Janine Brown, TTT News.